hydraulic clutch pedal goes all the way down and it does not go up by itself. What could be the issue? Normally the problem is a leak somewhere. Normally the leaks are on the primary clutch pump and on the secondary clutch pump, on the master or the slave ones, okay? So to see this one, just take out here the boot. And normally when it has it, you already have here oil and this one does not have it. So just to be safe, let me check here if it really is the case or not. Very, very tight. Very tight. Yeah. So no oil whatsoever. Some humidity for grease. By the way, you not you cannot put any grease on this shaft at all. Okay, nothing. When you finally pull the pedal with your hand, with your foot up, now it appears to have again the force that you need, but you have here a space, you have here a, a portion of it that it does nothing. It means that you can have indeed a good, a good primary pump. It was able to suck the oil from the reservoir and because you have air on the system you cannot you cannot have 100 percent of the stroke of the pedal over here well you have 100 percent of it but it is not transmitted to the other side on this case the clutch reservoir is the same for the brakes so you have here a line that feeds the primary clutch pump that is on the pedal and eventually you, you will run out out of oil and the warning light may appear on your dashboard. And on this car, the secondary clutch pump here on top of the gearbox is underneath here the battery tray. To remove the battery, put it back together, I already did a video how to do so, the procedures of doing so because of the steps that we have to take for everything to be okay. For example, for the climate control, that is very important, check down on the description. So now I will take out here the battery tray to access the pump and confirm the failure of it. Here is the pump, okay? And we will take out here this boot to see if any oil is passing through the seals. So what's happening here is very strange. I do not see any oil so far, okay? But what is what may happen is you can have um, a very small leak and only air is entering the system and causing that uh, laggy pedal and also sometimes driving it all the way to the floor. This is not the first time it's happening. The symptom does not appear every day, not every week even, just uh, about once a month or so. So it may be the beginning or, of something, but definitely there is something happening over here. Probably even a defect on the machining on the inside of the cylinder may be causing this not letting the pressure being built onto the seals. So I have a lot of doubts about this cylinder. Let's remove it and see if we see something. So this is the part where you guys will start to scream at me because this cylinder is completely loose. <laughs> we do not have any corrosion in Portugal. I'm sorry for that. I wish I had a little bit more so I can show you how I tend to take out things that are a little bit worse. Um, so this will be very easy to take out never encountered well i have encountered one or two very stuck together they were from imported cars and the oh i feel you man because this is aluminium this is steel and you know the similar corrosion uh it's a mother of god okay so what can you do to take out a cylinder that, that that does not come off the way i did it was because you cannot remove that bolt over there they took out here this lever, took out here the interior of the cylinder shaft, okay? And then with a large rod, I push out, I pushed out here the cylinder. Yeah, uh, it was not very easy, but what, what can I say? 
when putting in the new one make sure this part aluminium part here is very 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 clean and put some emphasis on the aluminium part as well as on the cylinder part too just coat it with a lot a lot of emphasis and then in the future it will be a little bit easier to take out okay yeah so yeah taking out here the the hose over here you can put it to a side or it can take it out from underneath here whatever you want to do okay so now taking it out here the c-clip this one sometimes it's, it's a bit uh, annoying but what can i say in your case it will be maybe a little bit difficult Here you have the new cylinder. I think what uh, I know what happened with the old one. I have it on the bench drying. I'll uh, show you in a minute, okay? So, yeah, as you can see, it is really easy to put to take out. This is a good quality one. The one that came off, it is also a good quality, but it has about 10 years. So, I'm not uh, a big fan of doing all this job for a part like this. 10 years afterwards, it's time to go, okay? so uh, it's not that expensive also and uh, it gives me peace of mind that everything is okay plus i think i know what happened with that other pump okay and by pump i mean cylinder Now to do here the bleeding or purging or whatever you want to call it, I already have some videos for this, but I will guide you again how to do this. So as you can see, I'm using here this process. This is a pressurized machine, not a vacuumed one. Just pressurize here with a manual pump, okay? And now you have your pressure fluid, brake fluid going into the reservoir. And uh, in this way, I can bleed out the clutch I'm doing with no hands, okay, it's doing alone, automatically alone, okay, doing the clutch and as I have a liter of fluid over here, I also will do the brakes. The time to do it is coming, 2 years or 40,000 kilometers at max, so I have the machine plugged up, why not just opening the bleeds and do it. Now I just close the bleeding, but the pressure is still on. With the bleed nipple all the way tightened, you want to do some cycles on the pedal just to free up any fluid that is on the lines or air now open again five to ten seconds now let's do something very strange let's open the perch and go to the inside of the car and pump the pedal while the machine is connected and with pressure this procedure will spend a lot of oil a lot of fluid but it will do a very good cleaning on the circuit and also helping to take out all of the air. So now just close the, the perch, I just close it, okay? And finally, five to 10 seconds, and you can see some more black fluid coming out. Close the bleeder over there, clean everything with water, take out here the pressure, because I will still want to do the bleeding of the brakes. So no pressure over here, because I want to test if the pedal is okay the clutch pedal so the test that i want to do is if the pedal comes back all the way if the feeling of the pedal is all the way the same 
and possibly if the pedal is a bit a little bit lighter the weight of it so all the way it comes up all the way and I just have just a little bit as it should have of a play okay so it is indeed perfect now I'll just put this back together while I'm doing this I want to tell you about my description on every video I have a lot of videos that can and will be useful for you down on the description things relate, related to brakes for example things related to lack of power to crank no start so many things okay also down on the description there are links for helps for the channel if you are able to do so for example i have their patreon and if you are able to do a monthly help for only one and a half euros it will be great because now doing this uh, youtube thing 100 percent of the time it is a bit scary not to have a steady income as you may understand okay i also have to show you there the the clutch pump the clutch cylinder what i think what has happened to it it's not very important because the clutch pump the clutch cylinder has more than 10 years so it's time to go but uh, yeah about here the assembly of the battery the procedure after the assembly of the battery i mean I have, uh, like I said, a video, a specific video down on the description, so you to see how it is done on every car, okay? Also, I leave you with the part number for this clutch cylinder. It is a very high quality one. Um, it is a supplier for uh, lots of uh, car manufacturers in these days. Just like a cylinder on an engine, these parts cannot have any scratches up and down. They cannot, okay? those very tiny scratches will be enough to pass air in but not to pass oil out that combined with the age of the rubbers and you may end up having here problems with the seals that one over there seems to be a little bit bad the top one okay also joining to the party as we say in portugal you can have pitting on the casting letting air in and a bit of oil out but you cannot see the oil yet because this oil comes out with, with water and just a bit of rain can indeed take out the any, any remnants of the fluid also some black spots so yeah it's time okay i see you next week guys bye <laughs>